Hi, I'm Heidi. I share innovative and artful designs to inspire you and help you design a home you love. My project today was inspired by this. I have no idea what it is. I found it at the thrift store and I thought it was a couple of breadboards, so I was kind of excited. And then I pulled it out and I realized that it is sort of two mini breadboards, but they're strapped together. And I have a faint recollection that maybe we had something like this in like elementary music class, kind of as a noisemaker, but I don't know. If you know, leave a message in the comments. I'd love to know what this is. The warm wood tones and breadboards are really, really popular right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off the leather strapping and these sort of brass tacks and use these as two separate breadboards, but I'm gonna do it with a little bit of a twist. The leather straps and brass tacks are kind of cool, so I'm gonna hang on to these. I'm gonna set them aside and see if I might be able to use them in this project. If not this project, certainly another project. And that's a great tip. If you like to thrift things and you're taking things apart, hang on to those extra parts because they can always be used as like interesting detail in other projects that you put together. I always collect little bits and bobs of things when I'm out and I have this beautiful pile of bleached painter's tarp that sits down next to my treadmill and each time on my treadmill I look at that pile and I go I have got to do something with that it's just beautiful so today's the day I'm gonna pull some of that out and I'm gonna make what I'm calling cozies for your breadboard lay your fabric out on your breadboard and I loved the bottom edge of this you can see I kept that bottom edge of the fabric and just folded over the top so I would say go up about two-thirds of the way fold it over and then either hot glue it down or you can sew your edge down if you'd like it to look a little bit neater I added color and interest with a grain sack stripe you'll see here this is just ribbon that I collected I went ahead and folded it over the top and then wrapped it um, down the front and around the back and affixed it to the back as well. So it almost creates a little pocket. The grain sack ribbon along with the leather and the brass tacks that I added back to these are just beautiful accents. It's the little bits and bobs that really make your projects distinctive. So make sure you save those little pieces and use them for projects like this. But look at how darling this little breadboard with the sleeve looks layered against other breadboards on a shelf or on your kitchen counter. You can tuck it with all kinds of things. Here I've got flowers, but you can use photographs. The sky's the limit. And if you use other breadboards, make sl sleeves for them. I made a sleeve here for the pizza slide that you see here in the picture. And that sleeve just helps to create sort of a, a cohesive little vignette, if you will. It pulls the green from the plant um, and from the sleeve that we made for our little breadboard. And it's just all so cute together. And it says spring. I just love it. It kind of makes me happy. It's a little bit of sunshine on maybe a gray day. So hopefully this brings a little happiness to you too. And I'd love to hear what you think about it. Let me know in the comments. And thanks so much for joining me today as I made this darling little breadboard sleeve. And if it's up to you, be the reason someone smiles today. Take care.